Afternoon, everybody. This is Anthony from Amped Airsoft, and I got my battle buddy Matt. Today, we're going to be doing an honest guy's overview of the brand new GC series from GNG. So what we have before us is a brand new series of guns from G&G. They are the GC series. Super, super great actually. I'm actually a big fan of this. What you get with the GC series is you, you get a metal body, much like their Top Tech series guns. You get an upgraded gearbox above their combat machine level as well as some other internal parts and it helps keep the cost down. So basically what you get is you get an intermediate gun. This is supposed to fit in price point in between your combat machine guns where your beginners live and your top tech guns where all of your high-end airsoft players live. This is supposed to be a good buy-in point for someone who wants to save a little cash. I'm actually a big fan of this. Uh, I like these guns. Yeah, I'm I, pleasantly surprised. Yeah, especially, especially after all their SHOT Show announcements, there's a lot of cool things coming out. So John decided to stop by and let us take a peek at a couple of them. First one I'm going to show off is I'm going to show off the GC 1-46. Uh, what I like about this gun, it has a metal body like the Top Tech, their old 416 style gun. Comes with the metal diopter sights like a real HK firearm would. It comes with a crane stock for your battery. It has the GNG combat machine hop up, but it also has the CNC machined aluminum hop up brace, so you don't have any wiggle or anything like that for inconsistencies. Comes with the GNG green bucking as well, that's standard across all their guns. My favorite part about this, though, is that it has this new rail on the front that's a very similar to, like, uh, a Giselle-style 416 rail. Mm -hmm. um, it comes with rail segments that you can attach on all the different mounting points on it. Yeah, it comes with a QD sling swivel for your if you want to run a two-point, which is nice, with QD sling swivel points on both sides of the, of the uh, rail. And the best part to me about this rail is it's made of this super high density, super strong, impact resistant polymer, which means it's super light. This is a lot lighter than your standard 416. I'd say this thing mm -hmm. probably weighs about two thirds as much as like a Umarex one. Yeah, it's, it's a lot smoother, uh, especially compared to say a Umarex one, because occasionally, you know, your rails are a little rough, you know, the finish could be a razor a blade off. Yeah. You get your yeah. razor, you get your razor This blades. thing, regardless if you put rails, rail covers, grips run it, on it, you it's can run nice it, and smooth. You can run it smooth and run it as a low profile tubular handguard for mm -hmm. a 416. I'm also a big fan of the fact that it comes with a metal body. Mm -hmm. um, so basically what you're getting is you're getting a really nice external set and mid-grade internals. It's going to give you something that you can buy into not have to kill your wallet and gives you plenty of room above the bottom but still room to improve so to, you can basically build these how you want mm -hmm. so another GC series gun that we have we have the, the GC12 SPR or as Anthony will only call it the Marky Mark special <laughs> punch the time card hey. uh, yeah if you're looking for more you know you say want how to do your DMR okay? roll, uh, this is one to go after basically Everything internal, metal body-wise, that Anthony just explained about that one, same for this guy. Except on this one, you get a nice metal rail. Flip sights. Mm -hmm. Flip up sights. And you get the standard uh, style receiver, so you know your P mags and other things like that will fit in it. Versus your Euro style, like your 416s. One of my favorite things, and we found this out after using our uh, combat machine for test drives, is that the G&G uh, orange tip actually is compatible if you have a AAC style banana. It works, you can put it right on. You put it right on, you don't even have to take the orange tip off. It's kind yeah. of funny. So that, that was actually, that was a cool selling point for me on them. So this one actually, uh, this will clock, this will put you in about 350 to 380 FPS, probably a little more on the high end, obviously. And this is about a 330 FPS gun stock. Yeah, and this is a little geared for outdoors. That's a little more indoors. We also have a new <clears throat> in the shop one of their top tech pro line guns and this is one of my favorites and this is the gr25 308 <laughs> sniper right counter sniper rifle but very fun the cool thing about the receiver on the gr25 
is that it's standard across the board with almost all the other brands of SR25s on the market. So what that means is that you get to use all of your swanky PTS P mags and all that cool stuff because the mags are interchangeable, much like the Classic Army ones. Mm -hmm. I feel that the finish on these is far superior to the Classic Army ones because they have that shiny paint finish that I'm not a fan of that chips off. Yeah, yeah. This is a nice metal body. It's anodized aluminum. And my favorite part of the entire thing... I mean, okay, well, I'll, I'll say my second favorite. My second favorite is that you got this awesome travel for the bolt. <laughs> That's just fun to do. But my favorite part... To keep it true to a more sniper-oriented DMR roll, is that the selector switch doesn't go to full auto. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. I like realism in, in design. I'm a mm -hmm. big fan of that. This guy comes with the 12-inch metal rail, has a built-in flip-up front sight, comes with a bipod adapter for the rail, and you also get a sweet-looking barrel extension. Mm -hmm. Which, if you want to make this thing a mile long, you can. Could you pop my? Could you assist, Battle Buddy? It's QD with two people. It's 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 QD. I just I don't have any hands. So now, if you want this thing to be over a meter long, <laughs> you can do it. It also comes with a low pro five round magazine. Yeah, that basically mid disappears. A mid cap, a mid cap mag. By the way, it comes mm -hmm. with a mid cap, which is nice. Yeah, that's nice. I, I'm all for guns coming with mid caps. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a big fan of this. I love the I love the finish on it. Uh, yeah, they're really stepping up and making their stuff pretty. Yeah, definitely. Last but not least, in our overview of all the new stuff that we're thinking about picking up and all the new stuff that's coming out, is G and G's coming out with a whole new line of accessories. All kinds of new cool accessories, which you'll see on. This uh, GC 1-46, we have a new battery box from G&G. &G. Also comes with a fully functioning laser unit and a pressure pad as well. So it's a, it's also it's a peck box with, for a battery and a laser. They also have this cool uh, red dot sight. It comes with buttons on the exterior to help do your adjustments. It, has a, it, it looks like a T1, but it has more detail, which mm -hmm. I think is nice. We have... A 4x32 ACOG style sight with additional rails. It also is illuminated. All, all of these sights are illuminated, by the way. This one's in red and blue. Comes with backup iron sights on the top. What I have is a 1 to 4 power uh, short dot style scope. Uh, I've, we've actually been a big fan of these things lately because it gives you the ability to go from a short dot at 1 power so you can shoot with both eyes open. And you, all you gotta do is spin this dial, and you're at four power. Turn it into a nice scope. This one is also nice and illuminated, so it has a standard style uh, crosshairs in it, but you can illuminate them red and green. So that, that thing's awesome, especially when you're at night, you know, night games stuff like that. Yeah. We also have on the SPR a Elcan style uh, 4x scope, illuminated as well. Yes, illuminated. These things, you know, they're. They're huge and they're ugly, and I actually really like them because they're, I love the they're beautifully ugly. <laughs> I love the hideousness. Mm -hmm. okay. I also like that they're going to release a 5.56 AR with a more wire cutter style fore end mm -hmm. as well. That one's going to be pretty cool. That's the one yeah, I'm that looking one looks forward cool. to. Right. I mean, even just you know tinkering around with this test model, I, I actually because I've been looking, I've been in the market for a short dot. All of us I, have. I like this. All of us have. I really like this one. We've been abusing Zach Bruce's <laughs> short dot. And we all mm -hmm. want one now, so it looks like we're probably going to be picking these Yeah, the only thing you'll have to, if you do snag one of these up, you'll just have to get a couple uh, ring mounts for it. It doesn't come with it. Yep, only downfall for it. All the other uh, optic, or optics that we showed you either have integrated ones or Int they integrated are balance. like QD attachments. And then the only difference for this is the uh, aim point style. Uh, this T1 style, it, it, you'd have to get a riser for it. It comes with a rail mount, but it would be a low profile rail mount. So if you want to raise it up like more, a more traditional AR style height one, you'd have to get a, a rail riser for it. The one we have running on it right now is a UTG mm -hmm. uh, scope riser. But if you're going to get it for like an AK or something with It'll the, run straight uh, on an like AK that, front yeah. rail. Slap it straight on. It'll be straight. All right, everybody. So this has been an Honest Guys overview of the new GC series of guns from GNG. Um, we're really looking forward to them. I think that's going to be a great gun to purchase for intermediate players that are looking for something cool to step into and get into higher level airsofting. Mm -hmm. um, so if you need to check out any of these products, pretty soon they're all gonna start showing up on our website. If you guys have any questions about them down below uh, or anything else you guys need, feel free to ask down in the doobly-doo. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Vine, Snapchat, Twitter. Google Plus, Twitter. 
Tumblr. Tumblr! Yes! All right. I think that's all of them. I think so. We've got too many social media accounts. Yeah. Snapchat. Yep. That's, that's a fun pretty, one. I've, yeah. Check out Snapchat. Or else a little discount code might kind of creep in there if you pay attention. Um, anyway, so this has been Anthony. This has been Matt. Thanks for stopping by, guys. We'll see you later. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.